of the moment. Hi, <laughs> Yuri. Yes, your pancake. <laughs> you see, Yuri told you it's going to be a rainy day today. That's why you <laughs> get your pancake. <laughs> Yuri wins again this round. <laughs> No, 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 I got my pancakes on a rainy day. I win. <laughs> Thank you, Yuri. <laughs> For months now, Yuri has been tempting me in the morning with his pancakes. <laughs> I didn't know how to get some of it. He's so stingy with his fucking pancakes. <laughs> I won. I got it on a rainy day. Thanks, Yuri. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, it's Pietrus Bardet and Frankie Two Socks with your morning peach walk. Got the soundproof, the windproof noise reduction right today. So hopefully the video quality is going to be back right out there. Water levels is high this morning. Must be high tide. This is where we saw the mongooses the other day. It's playing in the water over there. More footage in our series, The Walking Sandians of St. Lucia History. Here we can see more sand growing to the southern side of the face of the dune. And so these dunes are walking that way, straight towards the estuary basin. Dead. Meantime, let's have a look at what Partet is doing. Strandlopper is feeling way in the glassy zone. That is still a very young one. Here we've got the reference again on the dune that we took, same angle as yesterday. And there wave dancer is coming. Ah, wash is toki. Ah, say, that say, Papa is a lava hat. According to my rough calculation estimates, this dune has been moving south at roughly seven meters per month. I'll try and find the footage of where it was so I can compare it with to you guys where it is. So if my calculations is correct, the estuary basin is in serious, serious danger. Look at the, how this finger is growing in height and in length to the south. Let's just do a reference for interesting sake on this side of the dune we got one from the other side now for the last couple of mornings a flower with insects tidal outflow hmm the tidal channel is going doing good with tidal retention the man-made tidal channel is doing good with tidal retention. 
นี่ฮ่าฮ่าเฮ้ยเดี๋ยวมันกระฟตรีส์ย่า my fucking goodness มันเล่าชื่อสัตว์ไว้ทางยูทูบแต่ look at this bloody crap hey a reed climber can you believe it Where is she now? Where is you now? I you can't. You not, guys. Right here, halfway up the reeds, is a crab sitting and feeding. Why is man check this out? Check that crab on the reeds. Oh, what? This is where we normally find them. Here in the bottom, next to the water. Can interesting. Sunset in Saint Lucia Town. What a beautiful sighting! But they're enjoying the walk here in the park. And she just wants to run. Daddy, will you hard clip? Come on, hard clip. Come, hard clip. Go. Caltex Garage. Uh, it's light shooting at the moment. It's in Lucia Street. So our little Nando's there on the corner, our chicken shop, I call it our Nando's. It's uh, um, uh, some nice chicken shop there on the corner. I can't see the name now, no, neither can I pronounce it. Let's zoom in and have a look. No, zooming in doesn't help. Let's, let's just stick with that. I'll try and go closer when we come back. Pardet resting up while Daddy is doing his videos. In Pardet. Pretty flowers. Pardet marking the territory that's not theirs. Sit still, sit still. Right, we're looking at the guided, self guided trails around the Piva camp. And this is one of the entrances. It's got a parking here on the left to the gate That's to the Piva, Piva entrance gate. It's close to the public. You can only come here if you have booked on the horse trails. So right over here we've got a parking area to the left. And that's where we're going to start on our self-guided self today. The animals is lying up somewhere. The grasslands in front of us. And there's a water hole to the left. I didn't notice anything there. And then it goes here to the right back to Epiva. That's the second starting point inside the Epiva camp. So I don't know which way I'm going to walk. We're going to walk. Maybe we go there. This is what I understand. He's not walking amongst the sand dunes. He's not walking among. He is walking amongst amongst the walking sand dunes of Saint Lucia history. Parted. Water colors here in front of history beach is nice ginger. Absolutely granter water, a granter gully. Everything is granter about this water, and nobody fishing. Yeah, it's a terrible day today on the beach. But that's when you catch the fish. That's when but you catch the fish. But it's happy she found Frank. Go with so. Go with so. Partit. Then she found a stick. That's uh, it, Papa. Look at that color line. Yucky beautiful. Now this is confusing. <laughs> Estuary is migrating to the north and to the west at the same time. The Estuary Mountain. And that little peninsula there, with all the flowy water coming out down, hopefully it will scour it through and break through there. That will be a good thing, I think. Because if the sandbanks get bigger growing to the north, we just need one slight easterly storm coming from the ocean and boom! Closes the estuary mouth. 
that won't be nice. There's an interesting phenomenon there. Let's have a look. of walking sand dunes they fascinate me some of them up to a meter a day and some of them more depends on their size and the wind and the wind direction check this this is all new build up here and the vegetation is supposed to prevent them from walking but it, it, it just show us that they are walking look at this look at this Look at the leeward side of the vegetation, how much the sand build up is. Look at our pole, our, our, our tree. Look at the sand build up there. This is crazy. On this side, there's coarse particles, and on the other side, there's finer particles. And then the circles that we saw at, uh, the, on Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, this is why I'm stitching this one video together is to get the whole picture of what's happening here with the walking sand dunes Good idea Beatrice, good idea Look at that Every time the sand blows over the vegetation it just grows a little bit higher and the sand dune grows higher and higher and higher and I had to leave Pardet with the care of Frank this morning because I had to move tractors and look how well she's looking after Frank hey? oh, she's so beautiful and well trained she has to get some livers this morning Guys, if you look at the bottom of the video, there's a super thanks. Super thanks, Pardet, for a, for some livers. A tap of livers, please. Anyone? Hey, my girl! And all this is moving towards the estuary basin. That's a good life there and making that noise. It's flying there over the estuary basin. I wonder if I can pick it up. Just for the people that thought I was crazy when I called it the walking sand dunes. This is the marker that we kept that one morning about two and a half, three weeks ago. And that is the amount of sand that grew out. And this dune is now a lot higher and it goes a lot more to the east since we took this marker. We'll find the videos. We'll find the videos. I'm busy making a video called the walking sand dunes of St. Lucia history over the, a time period of about six months